If you've been to a beach along the Gulf of Mexico recently, you might have noticed the once pristine white sand beaches and clear blue waters are now covered in thick rotting seaweed. And you almost certainly notice the smell. So what is the seaweed and why is this happening? Sargassum is a type of free floating brown algae. Until very recently, it mostly lived in the remote Sargasso Sea, an oceanic desert with warm nutrient poor waters. But in 2011, and almost every year since, a new and ginormous Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt has appeared, stretching all the way from the coast of West Africa to the Gulf of Mexico. So what changed? Sargassum, like our lawns, needs nutrients to grow. In water, nutrients largely run off from land, which in this case is the Amazon River watershed. Vast areas of the Amazon have been cleared for cattle ranching and farming, and heavy rains wash excess nitrogen and phosphorus from the cow poo and fertilizers into the river and ultimately into the ocean. But how did the sargassum get there? The 2011 bloom was likely triggered by a shift in ocean currents that caused a tipping point, pushing the sargassum into a new part of the Atlantic where it now had access to the land-based pollution. The rest is history. Sargassum ruins more than vacations. It smothers coral reefs and seagrass beds, which are the nurseries for thousands of marine species. And its decomposition consumes so much oxygen that it creates dead zones in water that can't support marine life. And if you think your vacation was ruined, imagine the coastal communities that depend on tourism and fishing for their economies. So far, most of the efforts to address this problem have been local. Like you might've seen your resort using buoys to protect the beach or even manually collecting and hauling away the rotting piles of seaweed. But this is like having a house with a leaky roof. So every time it rains, you mop up the puddle that forms in your living room. But unless you fix the hole in your roof, you're not going to solve your problem. In this case, the hole in the roof is the nutrient pollution from land. The really hard part is that the pollution isn't from a single source, but thousands of farms and ranches across the Amazon basin, all of which also contribute to the economy. Like many of today's most pressing environmental issues, the sargassum bloom highlights that everything is interconnected. The economic choices made in one country or industry are directly linked to the environmental or economic crises in another. Even your steak dinner at the resort might have played a role in your ruined beach vacation. The bottom line is that the sargassum washing ashore is a sign of a global system out of balance, and a reminder that our actions, no matter how far away they might seem, eventually find their way back to us.